everybody and thanks for checking in to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Cobalt 40 Volt Max Rushless Electric Lawn Mower. Let's get to it. Okay, so real quick before we get into the cutting, I want to just kind of go over an overview of this machine, some specs, um, some things you can expect whenever you get this machine. So here's kind of an overview of it. As you can see, this is a rear-wheel drive self-propelled mower, which I love. I love that it's rear-wheel drive, much better than front-wheel drive. One, because I have slopes in my yard, and rear-wheel drive does better on slopes, um, as well as I like to mow straight lines in my yard. I like to stripe it. And if you have a bumpy yard that isn't completely flat, front-wheel drive tends to bounce around whenever you hit those bumps. Um, it has one lever to raise the cutting height up and down. It doesn't. You have to, don't have to raise into each individual wheel, which I like. Um, there's a 20-inch cutting deck, which my mo other mower is a 21-inch, so that one inch can make all the difference. At least that's what my wife says. Just a quick comparison: the 20-inch Cobalt bag with the 21-inch Toro bag on the right. Quite a big difference for only one inch deck difference. All right, so we're going to go ahead and raise this up to the highest setting and see what the highest cut is. And as you can see here, it goes up to about four inches, which is awesome. That's a deal breaker for me. If the mower doesn't go up to four inches, I don't like it because I like to cut tall. I like to keep it high and tight. Here's an overview of the grass condition before we cut it, just so you can get an idea of what it was before versus whenever I show you after it cuts. All right, so I wanted to show you real quick how easy it is to turn this thing on and just go get to your mow. Literally, you can do it with one hand. You just hit this button, pull back on this lever, and it starts up like that. So to me, this thing just sounds like an old box fan running. It's kind of cool. It's super quiet. So if you're somebody who likes to enjoy an early morning mow, but you don't want to wake the neighbors up, or maybe even a night mow, I'm not sure who'd be crazy enough to try a night mode. So a really cool feature about this mower is it's got this sensor on the deck that senses whenever you get too much grass under there. Um, if you're cutting really thick grass or overgrown grass and it kind of supercharges the battery and kicks out all the excess grass so it's really cool so listen and see if you can tell a difference between just normal mowing and whenever the supercharge I don't know what they call it I'm calling it supercharge so uh, when the supercharge feature kicks on it tries to kick out all the excess grass So I've got to say the cut is actually really really nice. I think it might actually be better than my super recycler So what I'm gonna do I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm actually gonna uh, Mow with my super recycler over here a few strips and we're gonna compare and just see how it does I don't think that it mulches as good as the super recycler um, But the cut and just how flat the grass looks and it hasn't really missed any grass blade So I'm really impressed. We're gonna try that out So as you can see, this line right here separates the cobalt from the super recycler. And so from far away, they look basically the same. And keep in mind, I love my super recycler. I love the way it cuts. I think it mulches awesome. Um, but no, I don't know. I'm, I'm very impressed with this cobalt so far. All right, so we're gonna look at the turnaround. Usually sometimes um, when you're mulching, um, grass clippings will get caught under the deck and whenever you go to turn around, that's when they'll all fall out. So over here's the cobalt and I don't really see any clippings left on the ground from when we turned around. Um, here the super recycler actually left quite a bit. Huh. That's kind of weird. 
Um, keep in mind, this is not a negative review on the Super Cycler. I love that machine. That's my favorite mower. But, huh. I don't know. At least there's the Super Cycler over here. As you can see, I mean, it, it did a really good job of cutting. Left no stragglers at all. But over here is a Cobalt, and it's the exact same thing. So. All right, so battery just died right there. Um, and one thing I will say about it, the battery pretty much lasted uh, full bore until it died. It's not like it bogged down in the last, you know, five or so minutes. It just wasn't cutting really well. It still cut really well all the way up until the end. So I'm gonna go get the backup battery that's fully charged on the charger and we're gonna finish this mow. Apparently, if the mower stops with grass clippings underneath and then you try to start it again, it won't start with those grass clippings. So you gotta either back up and let those grass clippings fall out or you gotta flip it over and get them out with your hand. So, um, something to note. So if you're somebody who finds gas-powered mowers be a bit too heavy for you to maybe to turn around or to pick up if you have to put it in a pickup truck or whatnot, this could be a great option. Another thing that's really cool about these batteries so it's got this indicator light here. When you press this button, it shows you how charged it is. So as you see, the green lights show three. So it's not quite fully charged yet, but whenever it is, and we press this button, this will show us that it's fully charged. And it's really cool, because most power tools, batteries don't have that, so you're kind of guessing. And if you don't charge them up, you could run out of battery halfway through the job. So really cool. All right, so would I recommend this machine right here? Absolutely. It does a fantastic job of cutting. The battery lasts long enough to do about a 5,000 square foot yard, maybe a little more. Uh, mine's 6,500 square feet, and I was pushing it. As you saw, it died, and I had to switch batteries, but that's okay. We had a backup, um, which I, I definitely recommend if you're going electric lawn equipment, you have two batteries. Um, you can also get a full line of lawn equipment. Um, they make weed eaters, blowers, trimmers, um, and they take the same battery, so you can just move the battery from one piece of equipment to the next, which is very convenient, and you can actually save money that way by, if you buy, say you buy the lawnmower with a battery, you can then buy the blower without a battery, and it makes it cheaper, and you can use the same battery. So, overall, very pleased with the cut. As you can see, it did a super nice job. Um, very happy with it. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you to go out and spend the money. It's your money, you do what you want. I don't want you coming back here and saying, I bought the mower based on your review and I don't like it. That's fine, don't take my advice. But I will say, if you're looking for an electric mower, this could be a great option for you. So thanks for watching, be sure and subscribe. Have a good one.